Hi, this is Marissa. I get asked a lot, what do I think of Law of Attraction? Am I a fan? Do I like it? Do I not like it? And the answer is actually both yes and no. I like Law of Attraction because it teaches you about manifesting that if you think about something, you can maybe attract it. That if you focus on something, you can bring it into your life. <music> So I do like the first bit. I think the first bit is very good. It sh showed you to take your focus on as if you focus on being ill, you feel more ill. If you focus on being depressed, you feel more depressed. If you change your focus, you can change everything. What I'm not quite such a fan of is it doesn't tell you the second bit. It says, you know, if you want to find love, sit on your couch and think about love. But you and I know that if you want anything, you must think about it, visualize it, and be proactive. If I want to buy a new house, I can't sit on my couch and I'm buying a new house. I'm buying, I've got to go out and look at them. I've got to read magazines, go and look at some houses and really focus on manifesting the house of my dreams while going out and looking for it. If I want a new job, I'm going to have to maybe go and do some interviews. And if I want to find a great love in my life, I mean, a lot of people do this. They sit at home and they try to manifest love without getting off the couch. So they go to like yoga and women's book clubs where there are no men. And then they go, yeah, this manifesting doesn't work. And a lot of people don't like me saying, they're going to know you got it all wrong. If you believe it, it will happen without you doing anything at all. But I don't think that's true. You see, I decided to write a book. And so all the time I was writing the book, I was manifesting. I'd write the book going, everyone loves this book. This book is amazing. This book is going to be a bestseller. And then I sent it out and to one agent and he got me a book and it was a bestseller. But I did have to send it to him. On the second time I wrote a book, I wrote a different book and I sent it out myself. And that horrible feeling when you hear the thud and that is your manuscript hitting the um, floor and they only send it back when they don't want it. And I remember hearing that thought when I thinking, oh no, it's come back again. And that horrible sick feeling. But I knew what I had to do. I had to pick it up, repack, send it out. My agent was J.K. Rowling's agent. She talked a lot about that she send her book, Harry Potter, in a little binder folder. It will get returned, sometimes without the folder. And she didn't have enough money to buy another little folder to package it and send it out. But every time my book came back, I'd send it out again. And that became harder and harder, but I still did it. And then one day it got picked up and it got 10 times the money I would have got from the first person who turned it down. And that is really a key part of manifesting. If you are a manifester, if you visualize and manifest, and your manifest is, I'm going to go out and meet the partner of my dreams. It's all going to be amazing. And you meet somebody, you go and talk to them, and they reject you. So, oh no, it doesn't work. I tried that, it didn't work. You see, it doesn't mean you won't get rejected as a manifester. It means you have to go back and go back and go back. So, I love manifesting. I do believe in the Bible, it says, as you think in your heart, you are. And I believe that you can manifest all kinds of things like health and wealth and love and joy and success. But I also believe that you have to take action. So if you got sick and you're manifesting for perfect health, you should take supplements and eat better and sleep better and look after yourself. If your relationship has gone wrong, you should go out and find a new one. So I hope that makes you see that you can manifest whatever you want visualize it, see it, make a mood board. I love mood boards. You see, I made a mood board many years ago and I put on so many things, taking a hot air balloon ride across um, the River Nile in Egypt, getting engaged and getting a massive rock from a great guy, going on a cruise around the world, having my book in bestseller list and I would cut out pictures of my book and put it on my mood board and go, this book is the bestseller. And so I did all of that. And I know Mark Victor Hansen, when he wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul, would cut out the New York Times bestseller list, tip X out the number one and write his book in. But he also went out every day, every week. He went to meet 
bookstores and literary agents and people that would sell his book. Because you have to do both. Wayne Dyer, who was a master of manifestation, couldn't get his book published. He put it in the car. He went on the road for two years. He'd go to a radio station, talk about his book, and go, by the way, it's on sale at X bookstore down the road. Then he'd drive to the bookstore, get all the books out of the trunk of his car and persuade them to stock it. So he manifested and took action. He took action and he manifested. Manifesting without action can work, but it's not powerful enough. And taking action without manifesting can work too. Not powerful enough. When you do both, you are bulletproof. You are unstoppable. You are unshakable. So I manifested a great book, but I still had to write the book. And then when I wrote the book, I didn't know at the time what I know now it might take you three months to write a book. But the work you have to do to keep that in the bestseller list, the articles you have to write, the radio shows you have to go on, who you have to talk to is much harder work. And my agent said, you know, if you want a book deal, you better be prepared to go on stage and talk about your book because anyone can write a book. Not anyone can get it published. And then not anyone can get it to stay in a bestseller charge. You've got to do a lot of work. I mean, I was on trains, going to places all over the place. I was tired, but it wasn't enough to write that book. I had to write it then take action to get it published, then take action to make it a bestseller, then take action to keep it a bestseller. And the best manifestors work hard as well. So I hope you understand the law of attraction. You can attract love, you can attract wealth, you can attract joy, you can attract health, but you've got to do some work as well. I mean, I, I do yoga, I work out because I, I want to attract and keep a fit body. I'm sure I could probably lie on my couch and imagine having a six pack and firm thighs and a flat stomach, but I also do the work, but I like it. I like doing Pilates, I like doing yoga. And that's another thing to remember when you start to do something you don't wanna do like running or lifting weights or juicing or taking the sugar out of your coffee. After a while, you start to like it. We like what we do all the time. I'm going to end very quickly with the five things that you can do to make work a joy. Do what you love. If you try to make it in a career where you hate it, you'll always pay a price. If you do what you love and love what you do, it never really feels like hard work. Take action every single day in the direction of your goals. On your way to success, you have to take action every day. You know, sometimes the lift to success is broken, but the stairs, they always work. And there aren't always shortcuts. There can be. You have to do what you don't want to do. Ring people up and go, hey, could you write about my product? Could I come on your show? Would you give me a slot? Sometimes they go, no. You go, okay, thank you. And you just pick up the phone again. So you must do what you don't want to do. You must do it first and you must believe in yourself and come back from rejection. Many phenomenal manifestors have been rejected and they come back and they come back. And success doesn't mean never hearing a no, never falling down. It's how quickly you get back up again. Success might come to you, but you better go to it. You see, if you wait for success to come to you, it can be a long wait. If you go to it, it's not a long way. What you want wants you and what you are moving towards is moving towards you. So use the law of attraction, manifest, but also do the work. Everything on my mood board came true, but I did a lot of work too, but I enjoyed it. You can too. Thanks for tuning in. Be a manifester and work to make your manifestations come true faster. Remember, if you like this content, please share, please subscribe, please comment, and please let me know other material I can share with you that will help you. Go to marissapeer.com. We've got lots of free gifts to give you. And if you have a friend who says, you know, I'm trying that manifesting, it doesn't work, or I've been trying that law of attraction and it doesn't work, send them the link. Like, subscribe, share, comment and let us know how we can help you more. I do what I love, I love what I do. I'd love to help you. Go to marissapeer.com, we've got lots of free stuff and let me know how I can help you more. I'd love to do that. 
Sí, sí.